Welcome to JKB.com channel, your solution providers, it's me Jack. And today we're going to be doing our first tutorial. So uh, today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to install a voice changer for Skype. Now this app is called Clownfish and what it does is when you install it, you have a list of about 10 voices to change from and it can change your pitch from like a baby to a, a super deep male voice to like a helium, whatever, um, all that cool stuff. So uh, let's jump into our tutorial right now, and this is going to be how to install it. So I'll go ahead and put the link um, in the description, and we're just going to search Clownfish for Skype. Click on the first link, uh, go to the download page, <clears throat> and uh, right here, uh, we're going to want to download our Clownfish. So uh, I've already got it downloaded and installed, but I'll walk you through the installation anyways. Um, but like I said, I'll put a download link in the description so you don't have to go through all the searching it up and stuff. This will be super easy. So uh, let's actually spend some, a little bit of time on this instead of breezing through like I just did right there. Um, so we can just go ahead and breeze through this install. Um, the desktop shortcut just puts a desktop shortcut, start menu shortcut, super. Um, no little weird tricks in here. Does exactly what it tells you. So you can uncheck those if you don't want them, but I'm just going to keep them on there. Uh, this is your destination folder. Uh, oh, so after that, just go ahead and click next. Uh, this is your destination folder. So basically, if you have like a second hard drive and you keep all your programs on there, like I do, um, like your storage drive, uh, where I keep uh, all my games at least, uh, you can go ahead and put it on there. But if that's where you keep all your programs, then you're going to want to change it to where you keep all your programs. But uh, by default, uh, I recommend just keeping it on your main hard drive because it's not very big and it's just easier than going through all the crap of making new folders and putting it on your other hard drive. So just leave it at the default. It would be easiest, but if you would like to change it to somewhere else, uh, go ahead. Uh, super easy. Um, so that's what that screen is. Just go ahead and click next. Um, it's going to tell me that I need to shut down my clownfish because I already have it running, so let's go ahead and exit that. But I'm not actually going to install it. So, uh, well actually I guess I could, it's not a big deal. Um, so we're just gonna wanna go ahead and click install after it scans programs that you have to be closed when they're running. Um, so I actually have Skype open right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Uh, oops, why did I just click? Oh, notification area. Uh, if you have Skype open as well, I actually recommend quitting it because um, it's just going to be easier and uh, I mean it doesn't make a big difference if you have Clownfish open or not or if you're installing Clownfish for Skype open but after you've closed Skype and any other programs that it wants you to close uh, go ahead and click install and give it a, a second uh, and then when it says completed right there just go ahead and click next and then finish and that's it that's all it requires you for installation um, so now what we're going to want to do is, uh, I'll show you guys some things on the voice changer, but um, that's the easiest part to install it if you just need help installing it or something. Uh, there it is right there, you can um, be done with the rest of this video if that's all you needed was the install. But uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and show you how to use it a little bit. So I have myself on Skype right here because I have another uh, account on my phone. So let's go ahead and open that up and I'm just going to call myself. And uh, I'll show you uh, what what happens with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. Uh, need to accept my own call, which for here it is. Uh, go ahead and mute myself so that you can't hear myself. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm just going to show you how Clownfish works. So mm, after you get in your Skype call, go ahead and open Clownfish. And it says it appears that you're using Clownfish. Uh, with Skype, it's just going to go in your uh, Skype so that it can kind of access your call a little bit. Um, it's no shady crap, uh, don't worry. It's just a little voice changer. It'll just take to your voice and it just changes it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this program. Uh, so then to access the Clownfish API to be able to change your voice, um, it's going to be in your little menu right here. Just go ahead and right click on that Clownfish. Um, uh, but before I show you how to do the voice changer, um, Sometimes, not on mine because I've already done it, but uh, it'll say uh, clownfish.exe is trying to have access to Skype or something. Go ahead and click allow access so that way uh, you can get it to change your voice. But uh, we have a little voice changer right here. There's some sound effects uh, where it makes your voice echo. Uh, there's all these voices right here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, there's some music. So I guess maybe if you're playing music, um, it'll send it through Skype. Uh, I haven't used that yet, but today we're just going to focus mainly on the voice changer. Um, so I'm going to actually change my pitch 
to baby at first um, and in order to hear your voice which I'm going to show you so that you guys can hear my voice in this tutorial uh, we're going to go ahead and click hear voice but uh, let me just take my headphones off real quick because if I have my headphones on while I'm uh, talking then I talk super slow because I'm trying to hear myself and it's dumb but uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the different voices right here. Uh, so let's go ahead, go ahead and click here voice, and this is what the baby voice sounds like. Uh, it sounds really high pitched and pretty annoying, uh, but it's a great prank to play on your friends. I mean, you're just talking, and then you just go to voice changer and hit the the voices button, and then you just change it to baby, and then all your friends are like, "What the heck? You sound so weird." Um, I'm gonna go ahead and disable the hear voice. But uh, there's a whole bunch of other ones. There's um, the male. Uh, let's actually change it to a fast mutation. Uh, this one I've actually never heard, but um... So this is what it sounds like. Oh, your voice is all super fast and crazy. Oh, there's a, there's a couple other ones. Um, I, I like the... Oh, we wait last and I'll be not So those officers are bad. It only does that for, but I'm just gonna disable it so it's not all crazy. Um, take off the hear voice so that next time I'm in a Skype call. It's a little weird. But uh, basically, Clownfish is just a, a fun little program that you can use to change your voice while you're in a Skype call with your friends, um, and they'll 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 be definitely surprised when they hear your voice change. Um, I know I sure was when my friend first did it. Um, so this is just a fun little program. Go ahead, download it, and just. Have fun with it and, you know, surprise your friends with it. And if any of your friends would like to know how to install it as well, go ahead and link them to my video uh, as it helps my channel in a lot. The more views that we can get, the better. Um, so again, uh, thanks for watching and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, like the video too. Uh, you got to say that. Um, and uh, if you would like to see me do more tutorials on other programs or any other types of things, uh, go ahead and comment down below and I'll see if I can get those out. So again, thanks for watching. This has been How to Install Clownfish Voice Changer for Skype and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye. <laughs>